It is coming up to Valentine's Day and a lot of us are in the mood for reading something a little bit romantic. But we know that Valentine's Day can be a little heteronormative. So welcome back to Bow Break. I'm gonna correct that today with a bunch of queer romance recommendations. Sorry Bro by Telene Voschini has been pitched as a bisexual My Big Fat Greek Wedding. Amazing. It is about Na who turns down a proposal from her boyfriend and sets off to start a fresh start at life. She meets a new friend, a young woman called Arabuni, who helps Na get in touch with their shared Armenian heritage and just makes every day feel like an adventure. But Na realises that her new best friend might also just be the girl of her dreams. So it's really, really funny and really warm. Such a lovely story about self-discovery and culture, as well as really romantic. For a Cuban YA version of this, Ophelia After All by Raquel Marie is a really sweet story about a teenage girl discovering her own queerness. She has always fancied boys, way too many boys in fact. Her friends mock her for the endless stream of crushes she has had throughout her life on boys. So she's a little surprised when she starts daydreaming about a girl called Talia Sanchez. So the book follows Ophelia on this journey of questioning a lot of things she had always assumed about herself. A Taste of Golden Iron by Alexandra Rowland is a fantasy romance between a prince and his bodyguard. It is set in this Ottoman-inspired alternate history with magic, and it's also set in a world without any queer phobia, which is a really important part of reading fantasy for a lot of people, being able to envision these worlds where queer phobia doesn't exist. Different sexualities and different gender identities are all totally normalized throughout this book. And it's also got a really great slow burn, just kiss already romance. For some more fantasy, I've got the first two books in the Last Binding trilogy here by Freya Mask, A Marvelous Light and A Restless Truth. This is a historical fantasy romance series and it is very sexy. The first book centers on a romance between two men, one from this old magical family and the other who has just accidentally discovered that magic exists at all and the two of them end up bound up in this magical conspiracy. The second book centers on a romance between two women on an ocean liner in the aftermath of a murder and the two women have to work together to track down a mysterious magical object. In A Dash of Salt and Pepper by Kazuko Jackson, Logan is a hot single dad who owns the hippest restaurant in town and Xavier is the rather reluctant, very sarcastic new chef that he hires to help him in the kitchen. And they never expected things to heat up between the pair of them so much. I love a small town romance, especially one with food. She Drives Me Crazy by Kelly Quindlin is a YA teen enemies to lovers romance between two high school nemeses. Scotty is the school basketball champion, Irene is head cheerleader, and these two girls hate each other even before they get into a car accident in the school car park and are forced to start sharing rides to school. So it's got everything that we love about classic teen movies, but it's queer. For friends to lovers instead of enemies to lovers, you could pick up This Is Kind Of An Epic Love Story by Kaysen Callender, which is about childhood best friends reuniting. Nate does not believe in happily ever afters and he would rather play it safe than ever risk getting his heart broken. But then he reunites with his childhood friend Ollie and finally has a chance to come clean about his real feelings. Take a Hint Danny Brown by Talia Hibbert has a bisexual main character with a central male-female romance, which is a really important part of bi representation. And this is actually part of the Brown Sisters series, which is a really inclusive romance series in general. Casey McQuiston is kind of a go-to author for queer romance. I'll give you the elevator pictures for each one. A prince dates the president's son. A time travel story about two girls who meet on the subway, but one of them is lost in time. And a girl goes missing, leaving behind clues for her friends to solve. All three are super queer, super romantic. 
And the final book I wanted to tell you about is coming later this year, Fake Dates and Mooncakes by Shirley, which has got everything for you to tick off your list. It's a teen love story, one of them is an aspiring chef, so you get lots of yummy food, there is fake dating, there is a rich family with crazy rich Asians levels of drama, and it has got all of the fluffy, heartwarming optimism of Heartstopper. So definitely one to mark on your TBRs. I will link here to a playlist of all of the other queer book recommendation videos I have made here on Book Break, so do click through for even more inspiration, and let me know your recommendations in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Happy Valentine's Day!